All right. Um, I'm reattempting this Witcher 3 Wild Hunt playthrough simply because last time I did this, um, the door, oh yeah, one sec. Simply because last time I played this, I kind of, I don't know, I just didn't talk a lot and like I, I ran into a lot of issues for some reason. I don't know. On top of that, I, I deleted my first episode or it didn't, it never archived. So like it didn't work out. And I was like, you know what? How are people going to ever, like, watch this if the first fucking... Oh my god, the frames are dropping again. Okay. Hello? <laughs> if the first episode was... It never it never um, stayed up. So, like, I was just like, fuck it, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to do it right. Um, just a few things to cover beforehand. We'll be doing this on Death March. Um, we're doing a fresh start, no new game. And uh, no tutorials, we're just gonna skip that. And yes, I'm gonna simulate a Witcher 2 save. That's one thing that I wanted to cover too. Last time I never simulated the save. I wanted to simulate the save because I wanna get Letho at the Battle of Kaer Morhen. So we're gonna simulate the save. Let's just start this out. Um, so basically, for the majority of the main game and Hearts of Stone, I'm gonna focus on a sign build because the build that I wanna do isn't isn't at all like powerful until you get to around the blood and wine part it's pretty boring up until then in my opinion in my experience using that uh build which is an alchemy combat build um it's very op but at the same time it's not usable not really that usable until you get to blood and wine so i'm gonna start out with signs just sign focus um what else? So for the Witcher 2 save, I plan on saving Arian, or Arin, I don't know how to say his name. I'm going to side with Brosh. The Triss decision doesn't really make a difference, but I'm going to side with Trish, Triss, or save Triss, or whatever it was. I'm going to save Sile, um, and I'm going to spare, obviously spare Letho so that we could get him later in the game. Also plans for this playthrough. I'm going to romance Yen. Um, we're going to free the spirit before the crones. Uh, keep the Baron and Anna alive. We're gonna find Dijkstra's, Dijkstra's treasure. Get everybody to care more. In. We're not taking Siri to Amir, and we're gonna treat her well in the final half of the game. Just so I don't spoil too much. Those are the big decisions that we're gonna make. Um, what else? In terms of order, um, we're gonna knock out White Orchard. I'm gonna completely finish White Orchard within the first episode, probably. Um, then go to Velen, complete all of Velen, not even going to step foot in Novigrad until Velen is done. Go to Novigrad, so, um, do all the Trisses and Dijkstra stuff, whatever, then go to Skellige. And then from there, the rest of the game plays through just fine. I'm also going to be collecting Gwent cards this entire time, so I'm going to be battling everybody I can. Last time I played this uh, on the Let's Play, I didn't, uh, I didn't know how to play Gwent. You actually saw me learning how to play it every single time. Now, I'm the fucking Gwent aficionado, so I'm gonna fucking kill it and just take as much as I can. Um, and finally, I'm not gonna use Witcher gear until the Master level. Um, because, I don't know. I don't. I think I missed out on a lot of like the rewards just by automatically jumping into the Witcher gear. I kinda want it to be a little bit more challenging too. I mean, as long as you know how to dodge, know how to use your signs properly and Quinn and all that, you know, you should be able to be fine without Witcher gear. I also know the, I'm going to use the good relic armor, such as the Temerian armor, the Unvic armor, what have you. Um, just to get the experience of using those. I think those are things that I missed out on my regular, the first time I ever played through this. Um, so I kind of want to do that. Real quick, let's just get this view of Care More. This is going to be a while since we see this again. Look at that. Graphics in this game are fucking insane. I didn't even know until... Because um, the re the first time I downloaded this, as you may know, I uh, <laughs> I torrented it. And um, I was just I just used it as like a benchmark for my, for my system. And then I was like, holy crap, Like this game looks fucking amazing. I never realized that it would become probably my favorite game ever. All right, so let me use this jump trick. They do this in speed running. They literally just jump down the stairs in the intro whenever you can't run. Oh, 
she was fast asleep. Ceres disappeared somewhere, of course. One thing I don't like about this intro or this entire prologue section is that they kind of over characterize the characters. I mean, they do it intentionally so that anyone who doesn't know the game or the story or whatever can can automatically understand what's going on. And I completely get that. She prefers practice to theory. But really, like, <laughs> it's so forced sometimes. Time to wake up, master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too. Damn it. I've been taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes. <laughs> Making her slow through that brick. No wonder she took off. John and Bruce lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring Silly Siri. Huh? You better get that. Don't get mad at her. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that. So to clear up some sort of confusion. I'll see you below. Some people think that Siri is a witcher. She's not a witcher. She's training with witchers, but she's not a witcher. The the difference being is that she never went through any mutations. She never did the trial of the grasses. Partially because it's made for boys, so it would kill her, you probably. Now I see why you're so eager to um, strike. They make up for her not having the mutations by ha her having elder blood. The fact that she has elder blood makes it so that she's able to um, do all this and, and have the same abilities as a witcher, um, but not necessarily um, have the same uh, genetic makeup of a witcher. Also, on top of that, um, what was I going to say? She, um, her elder blood allows her to, oh, no. Scratch that. What I was gonna say was, um, in this in this fantasy world, um, everyone is capable of magic, and I didn't un quite understand that. Like I thought the the mutations and the blood enabled you to do magic, but actually magic is innate within humans in this world. So as long as you receive the proper training, you can do basic scale um, spells and shit. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations. Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any Striga. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! <laughs> exactly. So you best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Skip the tutorial. Not this. We don't need that. Believe me, you don't want to keep Vesemir waiting. You don't. All right, so more backstory too. Um, apparently, like they say that she has ash and hair, and the the kid version of her does, but for some reason it becomes blonde. By the time she grows up, which is kind of weird to me, her hair is supposed to be a little bit more like a dull gray. So it always confused. It always confusing when they said she had ashen hair. Like it doesn't look ashen. And by the sickly paleness of its visage. There you go. Mm. So you did read the chapter. For our sakes, Still, and for the watcher's sake, the difference between a ghoul and an owl ghoul is owl ghouls have spikes, ghouls don't. Um, let's see. Um, so you did the reading. I'm not admitted right off. Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a 
quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with the dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. Such a long intro. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's go right to the training. Come on. Let's skip straight to free training. For the record, going over the, basics again. the fucking tutorial for combat is absolutely atrocious. That shit is so complicated. It just throws everything at you. Like, here's Irden, here's Quinn, here's here's Igni, here's Ard, here's Axie. Use them all and fucking slice. There, you get it now. Like, excuse me. Like, what the fuck? Like, like these words aren't even in, in English. Not even any in any, any language, damn near. They're an elder language or whatever. Goodness. Yeah, so <laughs> this isn't actually happening right now, by the way. It's just a dream. Just a fun fact. So yeah, Geralt was having a nightmare, which is part of the reason why I feel like the characterization was so forced. I mean, it still kind of maintains throughout this part, but I really do feel like they intentionally made the, the characterization so strong and used the dream to pass it off for that reason. So. To tell him about it. <laughs> Rather not talk about it. Gotcha. So, time to hit the road. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow our trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. <laughs> we must meet soon. Will it be near Vizima? Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? The unicorn! <laughs> Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. Hmm? The things you don't get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Jennifer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. It looks like at least towards the main road. This doesn't make any sense. This, I, I feel like this is an overlooking. Like, we're already in White Orchard. So, and they always say that White Orchard is a day's ride from Vizima. But they said they're two to three days behind Yennefer. Even though she's near Vizima. So, I don't know. Alright. Dodging is so essential at this part of the game. Because this is... Geralt is seriously underpowered. Um, especially on Death March. For the first like seven or eight levels, like he can't just, he can't kill shit for shit. 
it's so bad. Right now I'm doing fine. In fact, it doesn't even feel like I'm on the right difficulty. Let me just make sure I am. Okay, I am. For some reason it just doesn't feel right, but or it feels too easy. But these ghouls hit very hard. And I'm not even playing how I should be. I'm just trying to get through this. Okay. So you just dodge, strike once or twice, dodge again. It's the standard um, evasive maneuver, especially in early death march. I feel like the gamma's kind of low. I'm gonna up it just a little bit. Wait, will it let me do that? Oh yeah, it won't let me do that because I'm not full screen. Ah, whatever. Uh, and as you can see, I got struck once, so you can see how bad that is, or how difficult it is. Let's clean it. Good. Nice. Let's go before any more show up. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Also, um, Roach is a pain in the ass. As some might know, he's like the ridicule of this entire game. We love Roach, you know, Team Roach forever, but like damn, like Roach will just stumble on everything. No way. That's that shit. It's probably like really common in that picture. I don't think so. It's, <laughs> it's never common. <clears throat> Alright, um, so this merchant right here that we just saved, or that we're about to save, sort of, not really save him. We're just gonna. We're gonna damage the griffin and then the griffin's gonna just fucking fly away. Because even though we're super witchers and we can kill like 20 drowners in one sitting, one griffin is just too much for us to handle. For some reason. But yeah, this merchant um, will end up selling us some Gwent cards and some Temerian armor. Let's go. Uh, after White yeah. Orchard is finished. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly, but griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it, alive, piece by piece. Uh oh. Uh oh. You'd like a reward, I suppose. He's so dumbfounded. Um, we could. Use a few crowns. We could use it for a few Please. crowns. I have a meager purse at the moment. Elf Guardians requisitioned my goods. Now this. Here. Hey, this is gonna help. Money is scarce. But for the first ten levels. Like once you hit like level twenty or thirty or something, like you can damn near in one sitting just pick up uh, like ten thousand. Or not ten thousand, like a thousand here. Crowns, but no. But this early in the game, it's like not easy to do that. Here in White Orchard, soul one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there. Not a bad idea, especially since that wound needs cleaning. Uh, beast barely grazed me, but sure, could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Let's get it. Any loot here? Sometimes I learn stuff about this game and I just want to make sure I'm not learning anything more. Nope, we're good. So, a griffin this close to the village. Strange. 
my thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountain, sure, but here, near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Right. All right. Things are going to start picking up very soon. Just a lot of cutscene material right now. make an analogy oh one second it's just getting real let's make an analogy think of um this being world war ii right and um the germans are invading poland right um and so like there's poland obviously and then there's the entire german empire nilfgaard is like the german empire and tamaria is like poland and so basically here, the Germans are conquering shit left and right, pillaging villages and all that. And loyalists of the people who live in Tiberia, such as in Poland, are fighting back. Begging pardon for basically. those thugs. No need. We're used to it. <clears throat> Both are jumping around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Mm -hmm. Already had the pleasure. One mean beast. Mean? Right way for a hunter to put it. Clawed Lena so bad, Wolf was one foot in the grave. We're gonna visit Lena as well. How can I be a service? With a drop of vodka for me. And you? Something to wet your tongue. Looking for a woman. Raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds. Lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. <laughs> them all over. Might be worth your while to ask of. This is me getting a little frisky for, for yen sometimes, perhaps. Alright. Thanks for everything. So now what we're going to do... Um, we're gonna meet our good friend Gontaro Dim. Again, without spoiling too much, Gontaro Dim is gonna tell us where Yennefer is, and he's gonna mean basically nothing much more for us right now. But he's gonna mean a lot to us a little bit later. Actually, a lot later. After we solve this little series story. Gontaro Dim is gonna find his way back into our lives and just fuck shit up. You manage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Jennifer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Alright, let's get it. I'm pretty sure CD Projekt Red like intentionally made it so that um, like he stuck out like a sore thumb. I mean, yeah, he blends in too, but I mean, in retrospect, he has a very unique name, a unique player model. It's kind of funny. For a woman, like everyone, not like everyone, and not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapses. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Hmm. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? What's it do? Yennefer or Vengeance. Should I get it? Yeah. Yeah. Just ca yeah, catch them all. Okay. <laughs> catch them all. <laughs> Cut up. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. Once I hear something, I never forget. 
Wow, the um foreshadowing is real. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodin at your service. Vagrant, is that a profession now? Uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The maddy crowd dubbed me Master Mirror or the Man of Glass. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballot, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. Into Geralt of Rivia himself. The butcher of Blaviken. That would be totally weird if he wasn't world famous, but he is, so... Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too. To your help. <laughs> Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. Duh, Team Yen. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? He's totally playing dumb. Get to the point. And the old Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there, dark of night, black and white, gooseberries and, yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Oh, God. <laughs> Notice how he just disappeared into thin air. That was intentional. Let's talk to this guy. We already know why we're talking to this guy. The earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Al Dirt Git, assistant professor in contemporary history at Oxenford Academy. This guy's gonna change our lives. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. <laughs> not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chase me. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I have a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Okay, um... Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence, and thoughtless cruelty. Ah! I see you lack the polish of the academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's cause. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. <laughs> Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I don't want to talk about all this. Gotta go. So long. A moment. There you go. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwen? No. I don't have time to learn. Oh, trust but me, girls, you do have time to learn. Let's, play. Let's do it. Hmm. Why not? Splendid. Here's how it's done. He doesn't tell you how it's done. No one ever fucking tells you how to do this shit. You're kind of just left to figure this out on your own. But it's okay, because I am the Gwent aficionado. Here's what we do. <sighs> okay, so... We have a total of... 30 cards in our deck, that's way too many. So we're gonna take out a lot of the special cards. In fact, I'm gonna take out the Impenetrable Fog and the Torrential, torrential Rain, and the Biting Frost, cause all I'm gonna really need is Clear Weather, just in case. Just one. Um, and I'm gonna spam my unit cards. You need at least a minimum of 22 unit cards, um, and you don't want too many cards because you don't want everything to be 
or you don't want um you know to water down and like somehow get too many useless cards you kind of want to have the strongest cards drawn so that was a very bad explanation of what's going on but basically you're given what what is this 12 cards at the beginning of a round you want the 12 cards to be the best possible 12 cards you can pick right or however many it is i don't know how many cards it is so you don't want to put too many down you kind of just want to you want to have a smaller deck so you can draw the better ones why did I switch out the spy? I'm fucking stupid. Ugh. Alright, whatever. It's been a minute. I'm a little rusty. It's okay, though. This guy's easy to beat. He's not too hard. Um, so I'm gonna combat this with a... I like to throw down the smaller ones first. Just cause it'll help us later. Um, the small ones that don't have skills. So, like, I'm gonna keep these three for my trebuchet, or my- is that a trebuchet? A ballista? Whatever. It's a trebuchet. Um, yeah, again, just gonna throw out the smaller cards. I'm also gonna watch my card count and make sure that I'm always maintaining a card advantage over him. Um, the point is managing your resources. That's really how you play this game. So, you don't want to put in your strongest cards at first. You kind of want to make sure that your second round is gonna be a strong round. That way you can guarantee that you're going to beat the other person. So I'm looking pretty good right now. I'm going to put this one down and I'm just going to I'm just going to sit it cuz this will put me at enough points already. So, yeah, I'm going to pass this round. And I believe since I'm Nor Northern Realms, it'll allow me to draw another card. Which will hopefully be a spy. Doesn't really matter if it's not, though. Okay, so like an idiot, this guy used all of his cards. Now he has zero. So he's going to automatically lose this next round. Me being the Gwent aficionado that I am, I knew to manage my resources and have cards left over for my next round. That way... Bam. Beat him out with 22. Simple. Well, you have a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. We will be playing Stepan later. True maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. So this is the Miraculous Guide to Gwent. This is going to tell us how many cards we have remaining. We have 52 Leth and Velen, which is just a bunch of merchants and some innkeeps or whatever. We have a bunch of Novigrad, which again is a bunch of merchants and innkeeps. Same thing at Skellige. White Orchard, there's seven more. Um, and those seven Gwent cards are from the leader, the leader card that are sold by the, uh, the innkeep. And I think a few more. There's one Nilfgaardian person and Vizima that has that except we can't play him just yet because they intentionally make him harder so that you have to go back to him nice panels LMAO panels what you mean panels okay Care Morhen is um, Lambert and then uh, yeah just random other shit so we don't really have to do any of this yet oh what the fuck I forgot about this. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your card. Switch panels. Oh yeah, you already know, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my side hustle up. You feel me? Fun fact: One time, I was, uh, I was having a heated discussion with my mom, and I just, I tried axing her. And was, <laughs> Huh? I tried casting delusion. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Can I quen right now? I can't quen right now? Why not? Oh my fucking god. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. They're, they're blocking everything. Holy shit.
Oh my fucking god, move, bro. There you go. Got him. So, um, it's important that in the first part of this game, let's take a look at the character menu right now. Um, the most overpowered perk that you could have at this early in the game is Gourmet, right here. And what this does, now I couldn't believe it when I first read it, but it legitimately um, makes it so that your food lasts 20 minutes. Like, it will constantly heal you for 20 minutes. Again, that sounds too good to be true. Because it is too good to be true. But it actually is true. So, um, yeah. That's the first thing we're going to get. And that's going to really help in Death March. Because all I got to do is just spam water. And then um, just leave it up. Literally just have it always heal. Um, I'm also going to start collecting this. Like, basically... Every single herb I come across, I'm not going to go out of my way for anything, really, until I need it. But it's just going to help a lot. They don't they don't carry any weight. Um, you know, they don't uh, they don't really have a burden on us. But they're going to help, excuse me, when we're crafting all of our alchemy stuff and whatnot. I'm also, if we go into our crafting, uh, we're gonna be doing the warrior's leather jacket as soon as possible as well as the viper's swords as soon as possible um, And we're gonna be picking those up here in uh, white orchard Let's just grab all of these contracts and stuff so we get all of our markers and shit. We're also gonna help this guy out uh, Anything else? I think that's it Sorry. Bro, I'm using my fucking old ass uh, P21s, dog. I sold my my studio mic, so I can't use that. Like, I'm just using this. I'm planning. I'm just gonna get a blue ball though. You dick it too. <laughs> How far are you? Little, yeah. Bro, I don't even know why I still got these. Like, <laughs> like I fucking don't know, bro. <laughs> They're so shitty. Look at how bad, like, the leather is. Like, the fucking foam on the inside's gone. But hey, it still sounds cool. Like, it's it's not condenser quality, but fuck it. I don't care. see what's going on who the hell's burning this guy's shit first let's get some white myrtle you already know anyways large <laughs> I believe we just find the source just chilling right or I don't know is he like in a house or something oh yeah some drunk that lives in the village. I remember this. Whatever you do, don't kill any cows in White Orchard. Just don't fucking do it. A court spawns that's like level 40 whatever, and then it, it never despawns. Just, just a fun fact. Don't do it. Chest. Okay. Did you start with fire? Yeah. What, what the fuck? Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. All right, so we're gonna follow this trail. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners, but he managed to escape. Lost his boots in the rush. And ran home. I don't know why you would commit arsony on somebody that's Thank you for saving me. People say all kinds of things about riches, that like lives in your I've always known yours to be an honor. Uh, I sold it I don't know, I've been borrowing Kyle's mic, so <laughs> yes. 
Um, I sold it because it was just a, it wasn't that good. Like it was an old. It was an AT4040. I'm trying to get a C214. All right. Um, do I have money? Yeah, I do. Dope. Um, hopefully, by the time I leave, I can afford these. Pretty sure I can, though. I'm gonna hold off on that real quick. Um, this would be a worthwhile investment, but not right now. Take care. I might just uh, hold off on that until we get to the first races. Um, I wish I knew in my first playthrough, playthrough that the races would uh, give you free shit. Because I would always spend money on the saddlebags and all that. But now, knowing that, I'm just going to do all the races. Bleeding, but not badly. Service wound. Here, but I don't recognize anybody's wounds. Where the fuck he at? So for some reason, like everyone here is speciesist. Um, humans don't like dwarves or elves. Elves don't like dwarves or humans, so on and so forth. You get the idea. <sighs> I need money, man. Press start, you can save. I swear on the dead mother. Like, press the start button. It doesn't say save. How much does he give me? At least be 50. <sighs> 20? 20 crowns? For that? For to not snitch you out? What an asshole. Yeet, yeet. Let's see what he has. Kind of want to see what he has. Cool. Um, nothing of use to me. Okay, before advancing with the main quest, um, let's find some of this. I need I need a lot of this because I need to make specter oil, and I'm pretty sure that's one of the things you need for it. And then um, I'm gonna talk to this guy about the contract. Wow. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis home to. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why do you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But suddenly corpses floating in it after the battle has turned noxious. We looked at Mandy and drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadful and can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims she'd fight the fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Big. Clear, pure water. Mm -hmm. And where am I to get that if not from the well? Back in wherever. First, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it doesn't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant, what does it look like? 
It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. What is a dirty dress? All rags, okay. skin, Funny thing about bones, all and, um, of these contracts. If you played this game enough, wraith, or maybe not. You, you could like, so you could often listen to what they describe and get it faster than Geralt does. I mean, obviously it's for dramatic element, but still, it's just kind of funny. I feel for you, but this is my job, so let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin. He will never give you more than 25. That settles it then. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now, no one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. So personally, I like to do this first. Um, I don't know. It's convenient, it's close. Let's do it first. It was roach chat. Give me some roach. Before anything, I'm also gonna do some specter oil. It would just help. Okay, I need. Oh, I need bear fat for that? Are you serious? Okay, I might hold off. I completely forgot that I needed bear fat for that. I'll collect the Arenaria first, though. Should be some more around this guy's um, house. There, there's all four. Okay. Alright. Time to find the lady's pan. When I first played this game, I wasn't hooked until I did this quest for the pan. Because it was then that I truly understood what it meant to be a witcher. It wasn't about slaying monsters or wielding swords. It was about stumbling on roach and finding old ladies' pans. Me pan. pan. <laughs> There's always sat there empty. This hut. That is. Till the night of all the battle. A man is old. Walk right in like to his own. Because next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? You just asked all polite. Ran? Got me first bark by chance? Like the berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Such intensity she speaks with, you know? Just staring at me, Pan. <laughs> Geralt totally creeped out. He's like, get the fuck get away. Get like... me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Fascinating story. Any chance you're nearing the end? I followed dark. Another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Poor old black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. Where are you know what Would you love me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. Never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, I was lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. All right. Hard this bitch down. Fuck. Oh, let me arm that quest too. No? There you 
Lots of good loot um, for the beginning half of the game, that's for sure. Hopefully we find some bear fat in here. Anything else? Oh, yep. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. Cracked monocle. Interesting. But when I got to me saddle, they say I'm going barmy. Mm-mm, <laughs> barmy. See. Documents almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. And when you arranged to meet, you fucking showed up. I did, risking my life in the entire blasted operation, and ended up standing there with my plowing cock in my hands, waiting for nothing. Dot dot dot. I thought the Nefgardian army was better organized than that, but you, blah, 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 tell that blessed Lord, that blessed Lord General of yours, that me and my companions don't hold grudges, so we won't break off negotiations. But since our old plan's gone, tits up. This time, we'll choose a time and place for our next meeting. Sounds like an ambush. Ah, a priceless frying pan. Hmm, it's quite clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Yes. Help you out, old lady. It's dark as hell in here. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this if I wanted. But then years were passed. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents, too. And. and the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury them outside the village. <sighs> Deep, so the necrophages don't dig them up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the North Guardians. Hang him out! You weren't a token of thanks. Give me that guap. That guapanese. That fucking probably 20 crowns. I'm gonna laugh if it actually is 20 crowns. Oh, wait. <laughs> oh, wait. It's not even 20 crowns. It's just a bunch of food. Holy shit, it is just a bunch of food. Damn. Cold world this is. Yep, well, it's all good. Level 5 wolves on Death March? Fuck that. I'm not going there yet. Kidding me? Wolves on Death March are a pain in the ass. Like, you could kill anything, but as soon as 5 wolves show up, you're screwed. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I made trouble go away. I'm a witcher. <laughs> a witcher? Was it not obvious that he was a witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army Nordling. Yeah, it's a fresh start. I played it like two or three times before. But um, I'm starting a new game so I could... Uh, set everything up right now that I know everything like that I need to do to start it It's a really fucking good game. Like it's probably my favorite RPG I'm like absolutely obsessed with the Witcher How much grade will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer Oh, we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Marys, that is, took from us earlier. You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the elderman and the smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf, 
You are too tall to be him. Plan to requisition something from him too? If it is necessary, yes, of course. We are at war in case you have not noticed. Bitch, I'm Geralt of Rivia. Who are you? Speak. I'm Geralt of Rivia. Of Rivia. Witcher. That girl. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Engelberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. Yeah, I just copped Watch it. It price. was on sale. There is a griffin. You got it? You probably got it. <laughs> Slate. Wow, oh, fuck. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I will need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a battle. Simply shit, we in, we in that bitch, bro. I already imported my no. shit, so it's the same thing as what I had on I PS4. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain. Ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands or hire a professional. People it's talk for so fucking long in this game. Questions man. before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. We recognized them because they wore our grip. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. I'm sorry, but I'm going to skip some of this. Alright, um. I'll need bait, a specific herb, buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck. Buck. First came idiots. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Geralt is being a damn idiot right now because you can find Buckthorn at any underwater area in the entire game. Need more information about this. But woman. it's okay. It's, sex. it's for the Why sake of demonstration. I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Tamira and Mislov. Thanks. Alright. First thing I'm gonna do now is um I'm gonna hit this place of power because the fuck. Okay. <laughs> Right. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the damn uh, place of power, which I believe is right here. If not, it's right there. I don't know. Which one's closer? That one's actually closer. Let's go to that one. I'm only going to that one because I'm pretty sure that's the one that's it. Or they might both be places of power. I don't know. The reason why I want the place of power because I want to get gourmet right away. I don't want to wait till I level, even though I'm about to level anyways. But um, I don't want to waste a single second on this bullshit. <sighs> Aggro to wolf. Fuck, missed. Damn it, I'm gonna just do this the old school way. 
Fuck. Anyways. There it is. Axe the intensity? Do I have an upgrade point? I do. Good. So we'll have gourmet now. Wait, let me make sure that's gourmet. There it is. Now, watch the magic. Let's eat some bread. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. It's gonna constantly heal me for the next 20 minutes. Fuck. Rates always need Erdin. General knowledge to know. Helps a lot to always keep an Erdin up with whenever a Wraith spawns. Also, strong attacks would help in that situation. I mean, it's not necessary, but I find that the strong attacks tend to be just a little bit more effective with the Wraiths. Especially when they're in the Erdin. Oftentimes at higher levels they'll crit if you do that. There you go. Life is made so much easier with that. Okay, so there's this lying, cheating asshole that's right there. We're gonna go talk to him. Snow now. Whoa. Again, I like to complete all of White Orchard. I don't like to miss anything because it really it really sets you up for the later half of the game, or the later half of the beginning of the game, or back to what happened. Monsters. Monsters from the swamp. Folk said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my come up and now. Less moaning, more details. What happened? And how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. You did? Which is code and all. Uh, I'm gonna send it to Mal to see if it works. Oh yep. Well, was on my way to the black ones to trade. Suddenly my horse got spooked. Ran clear off the road. We hit a bump. I went flying and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something that came out from the muck. Devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart. But I'm too afraid to go and see. For maybe you, I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me. I beg you. Fine, I'll go. What do you know if I find that box? Oh god. Oh god. Are they coming? Are they coming? They're not coming? Okay. What is this? Drowners? Okay. Here's the cart. Cards for with arrows. Interesting. I should take a look around. I'm trying to avoid fighting these damn drowners simply because I'm so underpowered right now. Didn't mention this. This guy's lying to us, by the way. Diamond dust? Ooh. Cards for with arrows. I know, girl. Square in the neck. Good shot. Either the merchant's got serious memory problems, or he's lying. Must be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood.
Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. Watch this. <laughs> this guy does the weakest shit ever. Don't fuck with Geralt of Rivia. Probably. Don't fuck with Geralt of Rivia? Hell no. This is an awfully long loading screen for something. That was weird. I'm gonna do this epic slice. Uh, that stench. Watch this. Woo! Damn shit. Get him out of here. Wake up. See, can't run from the truth. Not even on horseback. Now, who are you, and why did you attack that cart? Private First Class John Gilmer. Timurian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it too. With many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live. And fight once more for a free north. And this is a classic example of how there's no right or wrong answers for this. Because Geralt's supposed to be impartial. He's not supposed to take sides. At the same time, he's also he's also supposed to uphold like a moral code. So morally, the right thing to do would be to let him go, right? But at the same time, he also needs to kind of remain politically neutral. I prefer to play him more of the mercenary type, so I'm going to tell him to go. You're a decent man. Here, the gold I promised. Use it well. Drink to the silver lilies and to Voltaire's memory. All right. It's pretty damn good now. Um, making great progress. Let's cover that real quick. Pretty sure that's another place of power. That's why I want to go to it. It always helps to just stock up on skill points. Because as we unlock more level. Oh, fuck. It's Bandit Camp. Never mind. I guess it's time to see Tamira. I guess. Let's do it. Oh, wait, I passed it. I'm hella stupid. <laughs> I was going towards the damn hunter. Here we go. Fun fact, I'm pretty sure... Where's Vizima at? You can see Vizima from here somewhere. Oh my god, I played this game so much. So much. Uh -huh. I had $7,000 like, Oh my god like, What kind of dog do you have in there? I don't, I don't like dogs I have... Ooh. Let's see. Have the Terrier, A little Chihuahua And a Cavalier Casey Spaniel 
Nice. All right, so I'm just gonna take as much as I can from here. She has a lot of good shit. Oh, whoops. I don't want to get him roach. Alright, cool. Bad time. Well, well, one vast in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that bag of ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around there. here. Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. You do know that once out of the water. It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. But I'm hunting the griffin. Sit. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking. A few years ago, we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. The whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. You now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head. Captain Peter Sar, something, something. Say, ah, looks like the black one's looking out for our welfare. Down at Burmere cares about you. This captain just might. Seems like a decent man. There are no decent men in the army. There are only orders. Mm. Not from here, are you? Bitterness in you, too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise, you'd not use bait, just wait for the grip. Oh, to I only have three. Billy, we could have an interesting conversation. No, I don't. Maybe next time. Oh. Shout out to Tamira. She a real one. Oh my gosh, Faster. I actually have people who played this. Look at this. Huh? These are my friends from a long time, 2007, 2006. Oh my god. <laughs> Slow now, whoa. Okay, let's see. Damn it, I don't have a point there. I wish I did. Doesn't really matter though, this whole area is small anyways. Faster. What the fuck? <sighs> wow. What a nice going, Roach. Classic. Classic. I hate having you do this because basically you gotta literally wait till Roach exits the damn map before he leaves where he's standing. Come on, Roach. Hey, yeah. Fucking Roach. I'm pretty sure there's Buckthorn right here. Like, I don't have to go all the way out there. No? Damn, really? I have to go where- I really have to go all the way out there? That's fucking whack. Hold on now. Hold on. Oh, I see it. It's right there. Nope. That's a chest. Look at the names that I gave all my dogs. What? Toby, Coco, Lucky, Betty, Noodles, Sheila, Max. <laughs> Like, what? Those are such dog names. There you go. I'm gonna pick up a bunch of these buckthorns, actually, because we need them to craft killer whale. And I believe a few of the decoctions also use buckthorn. So it'll be very convenient to have that.
every now and then I'm going to be checking the alchemy window just to see if I can craft anything from what we have right now. I'm um, not sure if there'll be too much at this point in the game, but surely uh, sometime pretty soon we'll be able to get some stuff crafted. It's usable. Let's see what we got. Yeah, so not quite. Um, still kind of. We gotta pick up a lot of recipes too. It's okay though. Let's talk to the hunter. Guy takes the weirdest route to get to where he needs to go. You, Miss Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. I'm hunting bigger game. Enough guardians of the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You were a witcher. That monster slayer they stalk about in the village. Mm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, you don't mind blood in your silver blades, huh? Actually, we won't be using silver on him. Sure. Griffin's not going anywhere. No. Dogs like her. So step careful now. Come on. Alright. This dog's been a problem for a while now. Since the war started. Some this running march. system is absolutely Stop genius. He is going to run at the exact same speed as us at all times. Even though we are following him. If I slow down, he'll also slow down. Absolutely genius. I don't know why more games don't do that. Especially like fucking Skyrim. I'm not playing this smart. Nice shot. Alright. Is that it? Yes, it is. These dog towers are going to help with crafting, so I'm going to pick them up. Dieter. You know him. We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army is encamped now. He was a stable hand, and I was the Lord's hunter. That was before. Well, a long time ago. Sorry, hope you weren't close. No, not at all. So, can you show me where you found enough guardians? Griffin, know anything about it? Not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent. No griffin can hear me or spy me. All right, come on now. Where are you at? 
Twas here. One lay there, by a stump, headless. Another hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. I'll be fine. Not the first griffin I've dealt with. Not likely to be the last either. Hope you're right. Good hunting now. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, Guardians were celebrating. Griffin where it must be lack. Saturated with blood. A camp. Is that it? Pretty sure there's more. There it is. And then the tracks, I think, will lead to the lair. The are older and deeper, heavily armored. Your guardians, probably. Aha, jackpot. They give you so much currency in, like, the loot boxes, except at this part of the game, you can't even fucking catch them because you have to take them to Novigrad. But, like, you get more orins and florins than you do crowns, damn near. This will help me a lot, actually. So, Tamira, the herbalist, uh, buys honeycombs. It'd be good to just stock up and then uh, get Good some extra cash. What remains of at least a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the griffin brought him here. Long, mm -hmm. long time dying horse, dog, human. A few months worth. Okay, now here's an extremely lengthy now, um, analysis and at least a week. or inspection. Uh, the griffin must be a male. Cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Thick shaft, dense bars. A royal griffin. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Nice, okay. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Alright. That explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the North Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Should talk to Nice. Me I, did we open up another. Yes, we did. Oh, this is good. Alright, um, delusion is gonna help us, so I'm gonna put up a delusion right now. Delusion will help us in conversations. Excuse me, conversations. Um, yeah. Also, some crowns, it seems. I hear a place of power. Medallion's humming. Place of power. It's gotta be. Wait. <laughs> Forgot to build. No? Bitch. There you go. And then we'll just put that into delusion so we can use it ASAP. Nice. Good. So we covered this place of power. I believe that is either a bandit camp or a bandit site or something. Um, there's also another place of power right here, but there's a bear guarding it, so I don't want to get that. I think now would be a great time to do the contract. I'm trying to hold off on the Griffin quest because that's gonna one that's gonna, you know, um, advance the story a little bit, and two, um, uh, I want to have the Viper swords and the Warrior's leather jacket upon fighting the Griffin. Speaking of, let's just see what it requires for the warrior's leather jacket. Leather and wire? You can buy that off a dude right now, to be honest. I think that's what we'll do then. We'll uh, we'll get some better armor. Oh, 
What is this? There's a marker here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wait. This is where the well is. I'm stupid. Let's do that right now, then. What am I looking for again? Grass around the well, scorch. Oh yeah, duh. Bodies dragged to a crisp. Signs it burns. All signs point to a new way. Why do I have to read the entry? He already knows. Munda, Spectre, Erden. Something's tied in way to this place. An object. Something she needs before she leaves this world. Too long didn't read, there's this bracelet. <laughs> and that's what we gotta find. Stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals found his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there. But it's not his blood. Honestly, I can't see shit. I don't know if you can see shit, but I can't see shit. Damn. Can't see shit there either, huh? Well, <laughs> Where the hell is my... We, do we not have a torch? Don't they give us one? Yeah, they do. There you go. There, we have bear fat. Now we can do the... Spectre Royal. I almost forgot that they literally, like... They set this up so that you can just easily do this without looking for anything. Because it is... Essentially what this is is a tutorial level. You're not actually like... You can damn near skip this entire beginning if it wasn't essential to the story. There's some shit over there. How do you get in there? the fuck? <laughs> Is there a way over there? Sometimes they literally like they they just spawn chests in places where you can't even reach. I think I missed something over here because there's still a no? Maybe not. I guess not. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go back to the well. Small jaw, a woman, around thirty 
judging by the teeth. Left arm's missing. We need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. What? We need to cremate the remains. My bad, sorry. Gotta jump. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. And that right there is what we need. Fuck the mushrooms, I don't need those. I literally have so many by the time the next half of the game comes. Lucky not to come up empty handed. A bracelet with an inscription to Claire from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. Lovely craftsmanship. Fuck. All right. Um, <laughs> I'd be forgetting how to leave this place. I think it's not here. This is where I came up. So it's obviously down that. So annoying. There. And here we go, huh? Uh, almost. Need to prepare for this fight. Don't have any potions, so I'm just gonna do the wraith oil. Unless, let's see here. No, nothing. Absolutely fucking nothing. I don't think you get thunderbolt until Kira. Pretty sure. Damn, that sucks. Time to fight this noon wraith. Get it. This is gonna be an epic battle, by the way. Hey, I think it worked. Bitch. Not bad, not bad. Spectre oil really helps in this situation. Ah, oh, fuck, she healed. This bitch. Woo! Come on. Come on. I right, stopped healing. There you go. I have two more strikes left.
come on, come on, come on. Yee. First trophy. She's gone. Oh, good. Did it skip the trophy animation? I guess it did, huh? Is it Elise on Roach now? I guess it is. Time to collect their fucking 25 crowns for almost risking our lives. these decisions um uh, yeah he gives us he gives us some amethyst so that's actually worth more you keep the coin for mandy her wedding raise a toast to my health then thank you master witcher those warm words you've a good heart but i can't let you go empty-handed take this at least Okay, cool. Um, two more things I want to grab before I head over to the um, my fucking uh, blacksmith. Yeah. Huh? Okay. There's one right here. And then there's also one right here. Those are the two diagrams I need. I'm gonna grab those and then take care of business. I want to also Wait, be able to. Is it gonna see. show on your screen what it's? No. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Hold up. Okay. Go. No. Go. I'm gonna cover it. <laughs> I hate how it's so dark. I'm going to meditate. Cool. So we're just gonna fish this little diagram real quick. It's in this bandit camp. This will give us the viper, one of the viper swords. Holy shit, why are there so many enemies? This might be a little tricky. I'm kind of low level right now, but hopefully, hopefully it will be cool. Um, did I just fuck up? I think I just fucked up. Huh? I hate navigating these parts. I gotta scale the side of this little hill right here. No. Shit. Ah, I hate Geralt's clunky controls, man. Oh shit. All 
Alright. Let's get it. Oh my fucking god. How do I get up there? Son of a bitch. Are you serious? That one hit hard too. Yeah, this could literally be a pain in the ass sometimes. There's like a ramp, right? Or something? There has to be. Yeah, there it is. Whew. All right, let's quen this bitch. It always helps to get the archers first. Because they're going to just fucking... They're just going to DPS you the entire time. So that's one down. I think that's an archer right there. Maybe not. If, if, if they hit me twice at the same time, that's like, that's really, like, that's bad. That's not even, it's very, uh, not a good thing at all. Gang, 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 gang. Kura, kura. What you got? What you got? <laughs> Fist tech. <laughs> Side note Fist tech is basically crack in this game. Or like meth or something like that. Angrily squirrel them. What am I supposed to fucking die for? Tamaria? Da died for that, so did my three brothers. And what'd that get them? Fuck all, that's what. <laughs> Excuse me, not even a decent burial. Da always said a wise man, there's some other... We pitch a cam. That's what war does to people. There you go. So this is basically too long don't read or too long didn't read. Um, it's talking about the diagrams. And it's telling us the location of the other one, which thankfully I've already known in advance. I don't. I want to jump down, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna kill me. Oh no, I'm good. There's a, there's a treasure here. I'm going to take care of that, too. These drowners hit exceptionally hard. Come on. See? Look at how hard that fucking drowner hit. Uh, I won't be surprised if I die right now. Holy shit, I just escaped death. gonna blow up wow that was <laughs> I sometimes forget how hard it is on death March oh 
Got a lot of good shit from this. Let's check it out. Okay, this will help us for the meantime. This will also help us for the meantime. But I'm pretty sure they'll be um, overpowered by the Witcher gear that we're about to get right now. delete this um, what's the closest marker to there damn really that's hella far <laughs> all right whatever So this Witcher Sword is guarded by a bunch of wraiths and a place of power. A place of power. Place excuse of power. me. It's gotta be. Okay, what the fuck? It's not gonna let me draw just because there's a wraith there. What makes these wraiths so difficult to deal with is the fact that they hit double almost every fucking time. Like, as long as they land one on you, they're gonna land the other one on you. Because she just basically, like, whips around and smacks you with the magic lamp that she has. It's fucking annoying as hell. And, yeah, this one disappears and goes inside and finishes you off with, like, two of her friends or, friends or something. Bad, yeah. Okay, took care of some business. Now, time to loot. Where is it at? I remember there's a lot of good shit here. It's not just the um, Witcher stuff. Cool. That's it. We got him. We got the Viper Swords. And these will help so much. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to be using any Witcher gear in the beginning. Yes and no. I do want to use uh, 
warrior's leather jacket and the two witcher swords that would at least um, be enough because then they'll still be overpowered by the Temerian armor. Magic. At least the power. I know, girl. We just fucking passed that. And so one last thing I'm going to do. is get these crafted. I'm pretty sure I have enough materials for them. If not, we have a bunch of, uh, you know, stuff that we can dismantle. Okay. Let me just make sure I have everything that I could possibly use right now. Cool. Novigrad Longsword. Oh yeah, it's the same thing. Okay, well... Again, that stuff doesn't really matter anyway, since it's going to be replaced right now. Okay. Crafting. What do we need? We need some leather scraps and a wire. Just wonder if anything here will have that. No? Nothing? Damn, really? Damn. Okay. Well. That one's gone. Cool. Now we got a warrior's leather jacket. Finally. Oh, I forgot. We can't craft the damn ugh, weapons at this guy. Oh, well. At least we got better armor. Let us also, since we have a point, spend it on Delusion 3. Bam, now Delusion's maxed out. And now we'll be able to use that for anything that we need. I'm pretty sure everything has been covered. Um, so all I'm going to do is just touch base with Vez, and then we're going to return to this in the next stream. Pick up this car. Oh, the decoy is very important. Decoy is probably the best Gwent card you can have. Alright, 
that is it for now. In the next episode, we will be fighting the griffin. Uh, also finishing the rest of White Orchard. In fact, that's what we're going to do first. Finish the rest of White Orchard. Then kill the griffin. Then meet Yen. And actually start the actual bulk of the story. Till next time. Thank you for watching.